Okay, I have the circuit working. This is um, an oscilloscope probe. This is another old-fashioned oscilloscope probe. This is the red and the black, the hot and the ground. And I'm going to show you the scope screen next. That was the clock. That's the ones. That's the twos. And that's the fours. Okay, I got to change the time base. Get up one. There's the fours, the twos, the ones, and the clock. Okay, I wanted to capture um, everything working right now. Uh, so what I want to do is show you these waveform windows that I have open. This one is generating the clock pulse. It's at 1 kHz. It's coming out of um, digital 4 pin 31. That's coming out into my circuit. That's what the scope's looking at. So I had to just get this started first. This is what supplies power to the flip-flops. You can see the 5 volts and it's drawing 53 milliamps right now. I had a problem um, turning it on. I didn't see this on button for a while. Um, this is the oscilloscope screen. I have channels 2, 3, and 4 turned off. This is the trigger level right here. Now you notice the orange button there on the right, the orange arrow going up and down. And what you want to do is try to get that so that it stays stable here on the screen. Um, this is the rising and the falling edge of the trigger. Here, here it's triggering on a falling edge. And then let's see if we can get a trigger on a rising edge. There's this triggering on a rising edge. Now, looking at the digital data, I mean, I could I could hook up the um, ones, twos, and fours here to the oscilloscope, and look at the actual voltage levels. Uh, but that's not really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in looking at them with the logic analyzer, and that's what I have right here. Now, what's interesting about the logic analyzer is that when I uh, Well, first of all, you can see that they're jumping around right here. Yeah, so it, it, it's I've got it triggering on the scope. See this trigger word right here? Here's all the options on it, and I've got it triggering on the scope. Um, but it still jumps around. Now, if I click Stop, so I'm stopping the scope. It can't trigger anymore, and I've frozen the display. And we can see right here, here's um, 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 4 is 6, 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7, and then it goes back down to 0 again. So it's a mod 8. It has 8 states, 0 through 7. So everything's working. So my goal now is to stop it all and try to start it again and show you how I start it all up. Okay, so first thing I want to do is turn on the flip-flops. So I'm clicking on voltage and choosing 5 volts right here and I'm powering on. Okay, I'll leave that window open and drag it over here. Next thing I want to do is click on the out and get the clock going. So I'm right mouse clicking insert signals pin 31. That's the way I have it wired up. And type. It's going to be a clock. And what I want to do is change that. So I double clicked on it. This window opened up. I'm running it down to 1 kHz. Uh, 50 megahertz is very fast. 50% on, 50% off. OK. I'll start it up. Oh, it's one microsecond. That's why. I don't. And I need it down to um, a millisecond. There we go.
So it was running. I just didn't have the time base right. I didn't have uh, this is spread way out, and I was looking at a little tiny section of this part right here. Okay, so that's running. Okay, so now let's look at the scope. All right, this is the default scope screen. So I'm going to turn off these four channel, these three channels. So I just have this one. Move this one down right there. Um, just click on Run. Alright, good. And it's jumping around because the trigger right here is not centered. There we go. It's on the rising. That's why it was jumping around. Okay, so the scope's up and running. Hey, this is working. And now I'm going to look at the in. Alright, now um, I have the 24, 25, and 26. 24. Let's look on the rising edge. Rising edge and 26. Alright, and the trigger. Let's trigger on the scope and say run. Hey, 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 I did it. I think I've got it down. Um, this is easy. One more thing, I want to see if this still runs with all these windows closed. So let's see. I'm going to close the power supply first. Ha! Ah, okay. You got to keep those windows open for it to run. That makes sense. Close the clock window. Yeah.